Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm here with part 2 of the Ecrasia Express event guide. And as mentioned in the first part, we're gonna mainly, not only, but mainly gonna cover the topic of the beloved or hated, whatever you want to call it, third mission, which is the homeland selling or blooming selling homeland west which in all fairness is not very easily explained and the game doesn't really do a good job to tell you how and where to get that or how to do that so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into some footage here so you can see me here on my devil hunter straight after i finished the second chaos dungeon and without further ado or i guess i do have to show you something here um shame on me because i forgot who that quest actually belongs to or who that gave me however i can tell you two things one i didn't leave burn all i did after the last guide was finish the second chaos dungeon run so i got to the state and then i just started collecting all the quests in burn and the quest you're looking for is this one right here where it says something in russian or cyrillic i can't read that legacy quest burn royal harbor find lenhart the sailor this is the quest that you gotta follow you don't have to do any of these i highly suggest you do these especially if you're a new character which you probably are if you're watching this guide but still if you're not familiar with all of the mechanics in the game i highly suggest just clear all of these quests but for the sake of finishing the ecrasia event express or getting the third mission done this is the quest you're looking for so we're just gonna do a little tutorial i suppose by clicking on the blue icon it'll essentially show you where you gotta go so we're tping to the harbor which in this case is where lenhard is situated and all you really gotta do is talk to this guy here the next step is rather simple as well in general the whole quest isn't too difficult it's just difficult to kind of understand what you're looking for the next step is going to be the ocean giveny um, there might be some translation issues but essentially this is what you're looking for if you use the english patch if you're not using the english patch and it's also really like this is going to be the same thing so just like with the other time we clicked on the icon which shows you an island that is near lutra now you have two options here either a sail there from the top of burn but I decided to use a different method so you can see me entering the sea and then actually not sailing but entering back onto the island and we're gonna go, go to these sailors or these embark NPCs which allow you to essentially fast travel for a small fee of shillings so as you can see this is the guy and we need to go to Lutran so this is what we're clicking at you see a small cutscene you see it like you have a few seconds here and there and that's pretty much it now you're at the harbor of the Lutran castle and I did a few detours here and there pretty much all you got to do there this is the map here and we're just gonna click TP back to the harbor and then we're gonna enter the seas from this harbor pretty much the same way we did enter the harbor in Bern like I said if you don't have the shillings or you have enough time or you afk a lot you just you can sail there by just afk sailing which is the thing in case you don't know you gotta click um actually i don't remember from the top of my head i think it's alt or right click if i'm not mistaken but anyway it's very simple to figure out and it is an option in the game so as you can see here we're moving back to the ocean and once we're in the ocean the island is fairly nearby of lutron so all you gotta do from there on out is make your waypoint or sail by hand really it's it's your choice obviously you need sailors and this is a fresh account so i never ventured in this sea yet at this point i'm just taking the first two here since they have better speed values it does absolutely make no difference so like i said boom click auto road we're at the island and i got a little bit confused there for just a second because I did not see the NPC on uh, the map, but when I took a closer look, I kind of figured, okay, so there's no, usually you see the purple icon here, 
And then I opened the whole map as I figured, okay, this is like a house little thing. So I'm just going to move there. And like I said earlier, the quest line is really not difficult. There is no difficult task whatsoever. The difficulty of this quest line is knowing which one to do. All right, so we only have to do that one. We don't have to talk to her. This is also the NPC where you can exchange giant's hearts. In case you're wondering, so there's a collectible that's called Giant's Hearts, and this is the NPC you bring them to. Talking to Minerva, the fairy, she has you come over to this pile of books, read those piles, or read that one book, whatever it is, and essentially you're back to her, and that is pretty much all you gotta do on that island to get that next questline. And as you can see here, the next questline takes us back to Burn. Similar to how we ventured down here, you have two options again. Also, a little trick. If you want to leave islands, you can use the Song of Return to instantly TP yourself back to the sea. I opted in for a Sailor's Embark again, so I paid a few shillings. That transported me from East Lutran all the way up to Bern. So I don't have to sail all of that, because sailing takes a bit of time. And trust me, you will have more than enough shillings to spirit for these expenses right back in the harbor we're gonna tp to burn castle itself pretty straightforward and now we're gonna go back to the queen this is a little bit of a walk so i chopped out a few bits and pieces here and there and notice this quest line gave us a few materials and those are going to be important later on you also got to accept the next one here i kind of took a detour and was like okay maybe just back off again so you're just going to accept the yellow quest there, talk to her again, and now you have a quest. This is probably the second difficult part about this quest, because clicking on this icon, it doesn't really show you where to go, because essentially this quest has no marker. This quest wants you to upgrade any of the three ships listed in the quest description. Where you can do that is pretty much any harbor of your choice. So naturally, since we're still in Burn, we're going to go to the Burn Harbor or Krona Harbor, what it's called. And we're going to enter the sea. We're not going to sail, though. We're going to go into, I guess, the sailing menu, if you will. At the top here, you have three ships available. I chose the Icebreaker since I use that on my main account. You click on Upgrade. You see those are the materials we just received. This is why I said these are important. You click on Upgrade. Boom quest is done this is all you gotta do in order to finish this quest line so you can now enter back once we're back on the mainland you guessed it we're gonna roll back to the queen since she's the one that essentially gave us a quest so the quest is a little bit uh, hit or miss and like walking back and forth you can see clicking on the blue icon yada yada the steps repeat once you understand how the interface and everything works it's very simple Going here, you can see that you now unlocked a new continent. So prior to Season 1, where you had to collect Island Hearts, this is all you're going to do in Season 2. And also, notice in the bottom left, this is the dreadful or infamous quest, the Selling Homeland. And pretty much, this is where the guide essentially ends, but just for the sake of completion, we're just going to do it to the whole thing here. We're going to go back to the harbor and you can see I took the route there. And there are a few pointers here while we're still sailing towards Rohendel. The first thing is, like I said, it doesn't matter which ship you're taking. Even if there's some dangerous seas and stuff in the way, it does not matter. Second of all, you can just AFK sail there. Even Okay, so this is uh, another part. Now you essentially cross the border between east and west. And you will be greeted with a small black screen that essentially is like, okay, now you're in the western part of the ocean. And this would not have been possible if you wouldn't have done the quest. Now, as you can see, we're already in dangerous waters, so our durability is getting worn out. It does not matter. Worst thing that can happen is your ship is going to break down, and it will actually break down in the process of this video. But it makes no difference, because we're sailing to a main harbor anyway. And what that allows us to do is, once you're at the main harbor, you can repair your ship. Because once your ship breaks down, you can't use any skills or any abilities of the ship, but you have slightly more speed, which allows you to travel even further and faster. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We now reached Rohendel, and you're finally done with the third Ecrasia Express mission. Once you reach the Soaring Harbor, which, um, yeah, like I said, this is all you got to do. I skipped the cutscene. And now we can see that we have done the quest. 
blossoming, homeland of or blooming, homeland of sealing, and boom, we got the third chest. At this point, you're essentially free to do whatever you want. In order to progress further, you have to do the second level, which consists of a quest and again two chaos dungeon. The quest essentially is just do the Rohendel quest line. Just do it really. There is no point in rushing through those because you're going to be locked out of a lot of things if you're not doing quests because there are a few rewards, there are skill points, there's other stuff that is locked behind quest rewards. So do those. Last but not least, once you're done with the second level, so you've done the quests and you've done the two chaos dungeons, you go, you can now go to the third level. The third level is started in Yorn. Yorn will not have a quest like Rohendo that tells you explicitly to go to Yorn. All you're gonna do is get the gear from level one, upgrade it to the maximum you can do with the two tokens you get or the two token chests, and now you're ready to go to Yorn. I still highly advise finish the quest line in Rohendel. Once you're done with the quest in Rohendel, travel to Yorn, do the quest lines there, do the Chaos Dungeons there, et voila, you've done your Ecrasia event. Anywho, this is all for my guide in terms of the second part, which proved to be a little bit difficult for some people. Thanks everybody for being here. Hopefully this will be helpful for some of you guys. If you have any other questions, like I said, feel free to post a comment down below or anywhere else, really in social media, Twitter, Discord, as you wish. As usual, I stream every Monday, 1700 CEST, a variety of games, including Lost Ark. Also, other dates where I will be streaming are announced on my Discord and my Twitter or future videos like these. So keep your eyes peeled. Feel free to check me out if you wish to. And I guess that's all I can give you guys here. Hopefully you do enjoy this game and that may these guides actually prove useful because there's a lot of people on Reddit, on Discords, on my YouTube videos that asked me how to do this. So I thought it's probably the best to just put it into a video and explain it. So without prolonging this anymore, thanks for being here. Have a lovely day, stay safe and see you guys next time.